All right, welcome, welcome, welcome. It is weekly brawl time. We get four new abilities to choose from. The aura buff is gone, I believe. I have chosen to play as Dehaka this time as a pre-select, so hopefully we get a good setup and we can pull off some good shenanigans. So let's see how this goes. Looks like we might be facing three Terran players, so this is going to get very interesting very fast. Um, we got a Protoss player, and we have a totally random, so let's see how this works out. Alright, we get the, we're gonna get our trophy kill down, we are gonna get the Hakka down, where is he? Oh, there he is. Eh, yeah, let's get our gas. We'll save up for the Hakka. Alright, let's see, what do we have for buffs? We have a single aura. We have hollowed. Parts of your staging area provide various buffs. Okay, this is going to be interesting. We have unstoppable. When a unit scores a kill, it become it permanently gains life. Mono life gained is based on the target value. Oh, that is very interesting. Okay, so that's healing. That's damn it. All right, Dehaka, you're going to come over here to the healing area. Give you, we'll evolve your devourer too. For auras, let's get one range and one move speed. For my devourers, I want to put them in damage. Let's see. Roach Hydra. Go Ravisaur Heavy. Alright, nice. The Haka gets a level up, so let's give him a leap. And... Alright, let's see how this works. We are up against an Asgur. Where's Godzilla? Oh, there he is. So he's level 2 now. He's killing a ton of units. Nice. We require more minerals. So weapons. And what is this? Is this cooldown 4 life per second and 1 armor? This is life and energy and weapon range. This is just energy and weapon speed. Oh, I screwed up. Okay, where is life and armor, life and energy? You need to get moved there. You guys need to get moved here. Alright. Life and armor, life and energy, that's weapon speed and weapon damage, okay. Alright, my Zergies. <laughs> Alright, sorry for spending so much time in my base, but I'm still getting used to this guy, so. Alright, let's see how this works. And then we'll get our worms down next. Alright, so we have an enemy to Haka. We have an enemy... What is this? What are we on? Bailings? Boom! <laughs> Bailing power. Alright, let's get a worm. Get another worm. Alright, they're going ground units with armor. And life and vitality, okay. And we just ate a unit, cool. Go, Godzilla, go. Alright, let's get our last worm down. Then we're gonna go T2.
nice. The Ravisaurs were a good play. How much damage are they doing? 17? They do more damage versus armor. Okay. So then... Let's get a couple more of these bad boys down. And I think we're going to have to start getting some hydrants out too. Hey, <laughs> go forth my Zergies. Looks like he's got his big worm down too, okay. Let's get spawn pump. Life and armor, 25% cooldown recovery. Let's get a couple of these out. This should spawn a bunch of little locuses, okay. Uh, intimidating, okay. And we'll get our next gas down. <laughs> we just ate another unit, nice. So, movement slowed, okay. Alright, we should gas up. Let's get our Hydras. Where is it? This life and weapon range. Life and cooldown, okay. We'll get weapons range. We require more minerals. We'll get this one down, and then we'll go watch some fighting. Alright. Oh man, they went right for ultras, okay. This could be bad. And they got our bunker. Okay, so they just get a bomb. A mineral increase. Getting more primal host up. I think this is going to be the key. Let's put another one of these in. At least the Ravisaurs are doing a good job with the range attacks. Godzilla's doing his dirty work. Right up until we get into these ultras. Let's see, my Godzilla triumphed. Let's get on a primal host down. Let's see, can the Haka get leveled up? This increases armor. Here come the Baylings. Boom, 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 boom. They hit literally all those Baylings that take out one or two units. That is just ridiculous. Wow. Alright, let's get armor. We'll set our, our worms there to help with some damage. Alright, let's see. How do my uh, host swarm guys do? Right up until the ultras did me. Get another host. Get some more hydras on the field. We require more minerals. We require and we're gonna get army of Zerglings out. Alright, we'll save up now. We'll go T3 next. Alright, can we hold the line? Nice. Alright. 
Here come the Ultras. Do we have enough to hold the line on the Ultras? Almost, almost, almost. Give me T3. Okay. And with this, we will get. Let me see. Creeper host. We'll get our own primal ultras out, I think. Yeah, we're gonna get our own ultras. Let me see. Where do I want to put them now? Uh, primal ultras, four life and one armor. Fifteen life weapon range. I think they're gonna go life and armor. We'll save. Alright. Complete. Alright, Ultra. Greater Pygmy Turret. Where do I put you right there? There we go. That thing should start melting some units. Can I get another Ultra out before the wave? Yes, it looks like I'm going to. Alright, that ultra's out. We can level the hack up. Give me scorching breath. Yeah, we'll have our worms take out the uh, tank and the aircraft. Brutal charge and impaling strike and terrorize, alright. And we're gonna get another ultra out. Alright, ultras on the field. Seeking the bailing smash into all their units. At least it took out an ultra. Deck here. Looks like I have Tyrannosaurus out in the, uh, the field, okay. I'll have to get my own out in a second. Spam a few more Ultras first. We just ate another unit, good. And we slam into them. Good deal. Come to the field, my Ultra. Zergling, that levels up the Haka. Let's give him Let's evolve him into Tech Burrow units. Nice, nice, nice. Stick these up here. Take out the tank, hopefully. Spam down ultras. <laughs> We're gonna just spam down ultras. Hello, oh, primal guardian, long range, any ground flyer. Okay, we'll get a couple of these. Yeah, they're getting their own up. So We're, let's counter with hydras for now. See, do we have any new tech? Nope. No tech. So, we can't deep tunnel quite yet. What are these? Hunter killers, okay. That's cool. What I'm gonna do, though, is let's stick these back here behind their lines. There we go. My hydras are starting to do some damage too now. Nice. 
God, they have so much life on their units, and it's like hitting a brick wall. Alright. Energy. I think these have cooldowns, so... Let's put one there. Are they cooldown? Yeah, I think they're cooldown, so... We're gonna get armor. Oh man, are we gonna survive this? I'm on the field. Come on, I can get in. Oh, they got battle cruiser out too. Damn. All right. Let's see how this works. Let's see. Good spam hydras. That's all we can do right now. The Hako will level up again if I get a couple more Hydras out. Come on, I gotta get him off our Nexus. Come on, run, 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 get him. Push him. Damn, our Nexus has like no life. Yep, that's it, GG, GG. Wow, what a fun match. Back and forth. Man, these bots are interesting. So, maybe weapon range wasn't a good idea. I think the Hydras would have been better with weapon damage. And then the Ravisaurs would have been better with weapon range. Because I don't think these guys take cooldowns on anything. No, they don't. Okay. These guys had life and armor and cooldown. Yeah, the Ravisaur Hydras would have been better with weapon damage and weapon speed. Alright, cool. Alright, guys. If you like this content, subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up, and I will see you at the second daily.